There is a violent, naked version of Where's Waldo available to you at cathedrals and museums all across the world. When you feel overwhelmed by Virgin Marys and crucifixions, look around at the other religious art and try to spot the guy tied to a post. Vaguely unimpressed, 97% naked, and positively riddled with arrows. So literally covered with them. That is none other than St. Sebastian. This guy lived in Rome over 1700 years ago. He was a guard in the Roman army around 280 CE under Emperor Diocletian. He was also working to convert people to Christianity, which was a very unpopular thing to do at the time. Word eventually got around to the emperor, so Diocletian had Sebastian arrested, tied naked to a post, and used as human target practice for the army. Thus, the arrows. Legend has it that Sebastian, despite wearing more arrows than clothes, somehow miraculously survived. Once healed, with the help of a local woman named Irene, who was apparently skilled in the art of fixing dozens of puncture wounds to the stomach and who does not get nearly enough credit in this story, he decided to pay a surprise visit to Diocletian. Sebastian thoroughly told him off about how unenthused and disappointed he was about the whole ordeal. The emperor thoughtfully considered the complaint, pondered the miracle of his survival, then promptly had Sebastian beaten to death instead. Despite being immune to arrows, clubs seemed to work just fine. Sebastian was martyred and is now the patron saint of athletes, Rio, and quitting while you're ahead. But he lives on today as an Easter egg in religious art. Just look for a young man with a peeved face, frozen for all eternity as the Roman army's pin cushion. Even better, he often shows up to the party in other scenes from the Bible, such as the birth of Jesus. All the other saints and apostles get to be dressed, and conveniently not full of arrows, but then there's Sebastian, naked and bleeding all over the place. Knowing a little backstory can help illuminate the dark, dense religious art of the Middle Ages. Sebastian used to be just another picture on the wall for us. One we probably walked by dozens of times. Once we learned his story and how to spot him, though, he's been a perpetual highlight. There's lots of these hidden secrets lurking in art and architecture all around you when you travel. Whether it's being able to spot a corporal arch or knowing why there's nipples on Caesar's breastplate, these tidbits add a new vibrant layer when you travel. Think of it as a conversation going on in the next room over. It's there and you've basically tuned it out and then bam, someone says your name and it captures your attention, pulls you in without ever getting any louder. Now you've got St. Sebastian in full color calling out to you from the wall. And he's only the first. Knowing what to look for in art and architecture is like speaking the local language, connecting you across nations, religions, and centuries. All it takes is looking up a little bit of research. And looking up at the wall. And that's why we're here, so that you can know, know before, before you go. go.